what's going on. Obviously, you filmed all of the, the things that I'm feeling, all the stuff that I picked up, all the stuff that I sensed. Um, Are I supposed to be filming that? Would you be quiet? Sorry. You think you're funny. You're lucky I love you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, sorry. So, you heard some of the stuff that I, that I picked up on. What resonated for you, what didn't, and what are you guys dealing with? All right, so what you picked up on is my deceased aunt. Um, she was the only one who ever believed me. No one in the family believes that my uncle molested me in the bathroom when I was a tiny child. That's what the bathroom is. Um, oh, no. Okay, so is he dead? Yes, he died when I was 19, and I ended up in a mental hospital, and I've been on the case for 10 years. And everyone thinks I'm crazy, and I'm not crazy, dude. Now, was that in this apartment? No. Oh, okay. But he follows me everywhere. He's, he's okay. attached to her. Yeah, the, the uncle's attached. That he makes sees sense. He's everything. He's my case. I want Social Security because of him, because I can't work because of this. The, I told you, it's the bathroom everywhere I go. It's always the bathroom wherever you yeah, go. Yeah, I can't. Well, well the bathroom here's a good thing. We have a lot of experience with entities like this, and it is highly. So the, the uncles the yeah, were thinking of the dark one? Uh-huh, yeah. yeah okay. he, he turned dark and he does things to her. Still. So that makes me even more angry and more apt to remove. As, in, um, as in life, as in death. Uh-huh. Yeah. much. Um, he, did, he didn't go and move on and learn his lessons. You know, when you, when you die, you, you, you face your judgment, you, you answer for what you did, you're good, you move on, you go to light. <laughs> so and pretty much he don't see what he did was wrong. Yeah, he just, he's earthbound. He's, he's staying here. He's refusing judgment. He's refusing to move on. So he's staying here and tormenting her so he can gain his darkness and then he can just be some dark entity like he wants, you know. Maybe now my dad will believe me. God willing, because this is not fake. I can feel the energy. I can feel the issues. I mean, that hallway right there is where I first started to spin and then just going towards the bathroom, going towards the bedroom. It's like the one bedroom, the kid's bedroom, that just feels sad, and I don't know why it feels so sad in there, but it just feels really sad. But then you get into your room, and it's just like... The migraines, it's, said. Yeah, it's just Armageddon in there. Um, just everything, the nightmares, the migraines, the fatigue, the sickness. It's night terrors. Yeah, and that's what, Nightmares as well. Yeah, and, and all of those, like all of that kind of energy in there, and feeling trapped, feeling like you can't breathe, just feeling suffocated. Oh my God, right now. Like all of that, I could feel it palpably in that room. I was, I almost died in that room. I was on, I'm on, I was, okay, last, in April, I got sepsis and ended up hospitalized for seven days, three days in the ICU, because I had pneumonia for so long yeah. that I was on oxygen in that room. Yeah, I can't breathe. That's yeah, and the, the thing with the bedroom, the kids' room, mm -hmm. my son was sexually violated in that room by a boy that was a couple years older than him. They were religious people. Mm. They thought that they were good people, and um, I, you Not never so would have thought. You never would have thought. Sweetest child. Well, I thought. Usually, they model something that's been done to them. So, that's what I told you. Yeah. so that child probably has had that happen to them, and then they have now perpetrated it on somebody else, and that is common with that type of issue. So, that's why it feels so sad in there. That there's that that crying and that guilt and that shame and that sadness that is just permeating that space. I mean, it's going to be an intensive cleansing. It's going to be something that I'm really going to have to layer different things, start like the holy water, then the smudging, then, you know, the sealing. Like, we're going to have to do layer upon layer upon layer in the cleansing to really eradicate the energy that is sticking. Um, since we have cats in here, we can't leave the front door open when I do the smudge, but we do have this oh, the there is a window yeah, in the kitchen. Yeah, there's a screen. And if we can, yeah, the window, there's a window in the kitchen. Okay. And we'll have that open to let okay. the air, because we need somewhere to chase everything out. To let the energy like, leave, yeah. Yeah, and then I'll walk out the front door when I smudge, and I'll push it out with me. And okay. Yeah, I, I have an order of operations, but I don't want the little fur nuggets to get out. So. Yeah. We, we are furry friendly in this in this group. Um, so, uh, what, so basically all of that essentially resonated for you, the whole thing. Sherry is the only one who believes me. And everyone in the family said I was crazy. And when I told her before she died, she asked me what happened to me. I used to be like, I used to work two jobs and go to school. And then he, 
my uncle died, and I remembered what happened to me. I blocked it out for years. It was gone. And then one day when I was like 17 and a half, I was sitting there, and I had a flashback of what had happened to me. Yeah. And yeah. after that, I was terrified of bathrooms. Um, it's crippling. It's, it's PTSD. Um, and to be, a, to be a victim of that and how it resurfaced later in life, it can completely debilitate you. So I, I fully understand that. The, the psychology behind it is one thing, and I, and I get all of that, and I know how all of that works. But then the spiritual side of this is the fact that he has not left, and now he is still tormenting you, so you are having to relive the pain constantly. So that is how come you can't get forward past it. You can't move ahead of it because it isn't actually stopping. He's still doing these things to you. And, uh, and I don't know if you ever wake up bruises or any kind of... He seems like he's getting violent, physical. That's that's the sensation that I that I'm getting. So I think we what we need to do. I mean, if there's other things you want to share, that's fine. But I think we should just start doing some baseline readings and yeah. pick, and, and validate those hot spots in, in here. We'll lock it down and then we'll cleanse it out. Yeah, but I would like a, I I wouldn't mind doing a little spirit box to talk to the aunt. Okay. I think that maybe she could okay. give me some valuable information besides That'll what work. she's already telling me that I can sense. I do like that you know, that validation with the equipment, so then it gives you something, like, tangible to, besides what I sense, it's a tangible piece of thing where we might be able to hear her voice, possibly, if she's strong enough to come through. Um, I have to weaken him and tamper him down so I can hear her. And yeah. I have a couple objects I'd like you guys to look at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I, I'm good with psychometry. I can read objects just fine. So, okay. I'd be happy to do, do that as well, and I just, I feel like I want to beat this man. He is so foul to me. And he's actually hiding from me because he's a coward. And he knows how I feel about that type of human. Um, you're not going to get your little demon wings. Hmm. Sorry. I'm kicking you out. He might go to hell, but he's not getting his, his special little wings that he thinks he deserves. So, yeah. We're going we're gonna to end his reign of terror and quickly. And then, again, I will send you that information to help you keep it up, because I'll probably want you to smudge your space with like Palo Santo wood or something like that every week for a few weeks just to keep the energy up and keep that lightness up, and that's really, I think, what will be most effective. But again, you guys are sensitives, so what you need to do is keep positive vibrations, positive energy, not let negativity near you. Anything who's <coughs> negative in your life, in your family, or friends, you know, that, that come around and give you a funny feeling when they come over, when they leave, smudge the house. Smudge the smudge, smudge yourselves and smudge the house if anyone leaves after they come over and they make you feel yucky. So basically, what you're telling me is you guys are gonna get rid of it once, and then after that, it's up to us to keep it away and not let it back. And by Essent doing essentially, what, but uh, it, for the most part, I'm gonna lock it down so hard that it's gonna be next to near impossible for it. It won't to be able to come. Something. It won't be able to come back unless you invite it back. Uh, are they burning something? No, not yet. I smell something really weird. Like what? It smells like burning wood. Not yet. I haven't touched anything yet. Yeah, you can't burning any Palo Santo, are you, John? <laughs> no, no I, I, smell, I smell it, though. It's right here. It's like right over here. Yeah, I can smell I, like this cinnamony yes, burning of wood type thing. That's weird. Hmm. You stand right here. Maybe, like that that is, that maybe right that's a yeah, sign yeah. of the yeah. aunt. Yeah. Of, maybe that's her, her the aunt's yeah, what, symbol. What did you say? What, what smell? It's like a cinnamon wood burning type Yeah, because I was standing right it's here. Not it's not a bad thing. It's like, it's, 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 just, it's like perfume. Like incense, yep. yeah. Yeah, yeah. like incense. Also, you know, I do have a little thieves oil on me. It should be dissolved by now, but that, you could be telling that. <laughs> it is no, a no, very strong No, it just started. No, yeah, it's just now. It just started. That's right. Well, then that could... It's a memory. Yeah, it's like a potpourri smelling. She's communicating. And that's probably just the aunt, which is actually a good thing. That means she's going to help us along with what we're trying to do. It's her cinnamon pump ratio is getting, getting oh. rid of getting rid of him. Number one, my cleansings don't ever get rid of positive energies. Your okay, positive cool. angels and your protection always stays. But, um, wait, the, but like, is she stuck or is she happy? No, she's here to watch after you. Okay, why can't she go to the actual world? She has. Okay. She she's been she's assigned to play as protection. A lot of times I cross over and come back to to watch over her grandma's at her she, house. She's happy. She's fine. So okay, there, there's she comes no, where I go. Like she, goes she, she is your assigned angel. She is your protector. Therefore, you've got that going for you. But unfortunately, this dark entity 
they're kind of battling. They're having a battle, and which is why you got the inspiration to call a team and get that this leg up mm -hmm. because I can chase him all the way out of here, and more than likely he will never ever come back. But what I'm kind of giving you the the advice for is because you you're a sensitive. Um, I think your inner you know, child is a sensitive. You've got this ability. So you run the risk of picking up other energy. So I want you to have the tools to keep yourself clear. It's slow going now, guys. I can't smell, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, stronger. Yeah, I have no sense of it, smell. It's it hasn't thing. really changed. In fact, you still smell it. Because I did smell it, but now I can't smell it. Yeah. Don't worry, Auntie. We'll we'll be talking to you. <laughs> we. We need your help. She's over there now because I don't smell it here. It's, it she's went, standing right. Yeah, she's standing right there. Yeah. So because it went past me, I smelled it real strong when I was over there, and then when I went to go grab a chip over, I smelled it over here too. And she's literally standing. I smelled it for right a second, there. but I don't smell it now. So we we like to get you empowered because of the fact that you're intuitive and you need the tools to be able to combat this. But we're gonna do one heck of a number on your place to get it. It's gonna feel ten million pounds lighter when we're through. And all you have to do is just be aware that you're gifted. And if you ever feel any wonky energy from the living or the dead, you'll ne then know what to do to clear yourself. Awesome. He is, oh, we're, we're giving him a one-way ticket. He's, he's, uh, he's, he's being, really gonna be gone. he's going to be disem in, in battle, disembarked sure from this place. Things are going to improve for you. Your energy will improve. Your life will improve. Your happiness will improve. All of these things will get better. It, you know, obviously it's one of those things like you get that reboot and you're like, oh, I feel lighter. And then you just have to keep building upon that. You, we, we lay the foundation for you. We, we put down the concrete. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. You know, and, 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 I, and I fully understand why. This is huge. This is something that you've needed validation for for a very long time. And that you've deserved validation for for a very long time. I knew it wasn't crazy. You're, you're being attacked spiritually for quite a while. By a relative, no less. Yeah, by somebody that's in, you know, in the bloodline. I mean, that's horrifying. But the good news is you have a, a team of people here that really care and are really good at what we do. Thank you guys so much. Absolutely. Let's... Uh, let's